the secret that I've discovered. And I don't know why no one talks about that. Let me break down for you how to kill the brass. So you see, there are three degrees of brassiness. Yellow is usually the most common. That's why you will find it in all drugstores and things purple shampoos and purple conditioners and purple dyes in order to tone down the yellow brassy tones. But that's not the case all the time. Sometimes it is orange and then they told you that orange is killed by blue. Well, that started to become more and more popular as more and more people try to get like darker blonde ashy uh, colors without bleaching their hair too much or too abrasively. So what happens in that case is that you would use the color wheel and I didn't know that in the beginning and I had to make a lot of mistakes with the purple shampoos. Oh, you got me. Uh, until I've realized that no, it's not the purple shampoo that could help you, but basically the um, blue ones uh, or conditioners. But that's the thing, they only kill orangey tones. If you want to kill reddish orange, for example, you will get a more turquoise color. If you want to kill true red color, you would get more of a green toned color. So it depends on where you stand, which color will suit you. How to do it without damage? You either put a, a 20 uh, volume uh, developer on top of uh, a hair color for these and I used to usually use Manic Panic. Again, adds to the damage every now and then and you would be repeating this several times because with many washes that's gonna happen where they mix this with, with conditioner and then I've tried that and it worked beautifully. However, the problem with this was it stayed for way less than when you use the volume. So I was uh, back in Egypt for a while and when I was there, I went to a salon to quickly get my hair toned and I told them my problem. So the guy told me, no, we do something called rinsage and I wasn't sure what rinsage is. It's like a French word or something. It's basically color added to shampoo and that's it. Uh, but I didn't know what color was it as well. So what is the alternative? What is the big secret? What is the reveal that I have this video for? Blue black dye. Uh, yeah, I know, crazy. But for me, the blue black dye, you guys, this is, oh my God, revolutionizing because the blue in this, if you don't use a lot of this, will tone down any hair that you want to get ashy. You can buy any blue black hair dye. Anyone works. And you mix this with a shampoo of your choice. Any shampoo works. You put, as you can see, this is like a spit of the cream of the dye. Just put very little. You're gonna put an equal amount of the liquid uh, volume thing. You shake that thing. But this is what you end up using from the dye. That's it. Then lather this up with shampoo and mix it. I have filled this with shampoo. I'm gonna mix all of this and then I'm going to apply it to my hair completely. Don't take long with this on your hair. Wash it right away. So I'm gonna put it on my hair and wash it and that's it. My hair, I don't know if you can see or not, started to show brassiness. It's not very strong, but that's what I do every time I start to check some brassy highlights shown. Um, and yeah, that's the secret. Tell me down below, how long have you spent from your life not knowing how to treat this problem? And honestly speaking, this is life changing for everybody, every person I tell them. It's very cheap. The box dye is really, really cheap, really available worldwide. You can get it and do this every and anywhere. I know. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video. And I hope you guys enjoyed those quickie videos that I make now, which is like very short and I just give you tips. If you like that, like, comment down below. Tell me like how awesome this is. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.